passes with me and such. Uh, we have one, two, three, four announcements for you. Four. So, uh, students, there's a lot, lot of things in the lost and found. Uh, my buddy Alfred just found a really sweet hat, and I want to take it from him, but unfortunately he found it for me. So, either you go there and you get your stuff, or somebody else is going to take it. So, yeah, I mean, go check out that lost and found. Um, also, seniors, if you turn in a baby picture for the yearbook, uh, it's your last chance to pick it up. Get them from Mrs. Jones or whatever. Before Friday. Before. Otherwise, she'll throw them away. Well, today's supposed to be Friday. Today's. By today. Today. Yeah. By today. By today. So, yeah. Also, seniors, there are many scholarships available in the office. Go check out Marvis's office. And she will hit you up. There's, she will. She'll hook you up with a couple, couple good scholarships or whatever, you know. And so, maybe even give you your transcript. I don't know what that is, but yeah, she might. And for the last one, didn't even read this one yet. Oh. Uh, Softball players, ugh, if you're planning to sign up for softball, go do that. Sign up in the office. There's a sheet that says softball on it. Just go sign up. It'll be awesome. Um, another thing about them scholarships is they're all in Marvis's office. And the so, deadlines are approaching fast. Yeah, they are, they are all in Marvis's office. Every single one. They're in a manila color folder. I don't even know what that color is. So, yeah. Thanks for watching these announcements. Sorry they're boring today. I'm just a little, a little on the crabby side. So, yeah. You have a good weekend. I hope I do. See you later. Goodbye. This week in the announcements, I will be recording the new student teachers. So, what is your name? Uh, my name is Ben Suyak. And it's C-U-J-A-K to make it extra confusing. My name is Mr. Stevens. Um, where are you from? I'm from Berlin, Wisconsin, actually. Uh, but I was born in Paris, Texas. I'm from Platteville, Wisconsin. This is the southwest corner of the state. What are you studying? Uh, I'm studying, well, I've got a, a, do, or a bachelor's in history right now, and I'm also studying education. I'm studying mathematics um, with an emphasis in secondary education, which is a fancy way of saying that I want to be a math teacher. Why did you choose Montello? I chose Montello because, uh, because it's just such a great school. Well, I've been coming to Sky Lodge my whole life, and I've been working here for about seven years or so. So I know this area of the state pretty well, and I know a few of the kids and families here. So that's why I picked Montello. What college are you going to right now? I go to Ripon College. Um, I'm going to UW Platteville, back in my hometown. What are your future plans? My future plans are to finish up my student teaching here and at Marquesan, and then over the summer try and find uh, a place to work as a teacher. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Well, hopefully I get a job. I'd like to stay in this area if I could, but it really it just depends on where there's openings and stuff. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Welcome to sports with Jonah and Noah. First, we have boys basketball. Tuesday, February 5th, loss versus Randolph, 41-56. And tonight, game, home versus Valley Christian. 7.30. Big game. I hear some interesting things happening tonight. So hopefully see you there. And now to girls basketball. And for girls, Friday, February 1st. Loss versus Rio, 49-55. to 55. Tuesday, February 5th. Win versus... Nisida, 64 to 45. And a game tonight away versus Green Lake and Princeton in Princeton. And we have a special guest today, Avery Witt. Avery, would you like to come on down? Okay, Avery. How are you doing? Good. 
All right. How do you think the basketball scene is going this year? It's going really good. It's awesome. You guys are beating our the other teams, but that that is very good. Um, what do you? Okay, that's good. Uh, what else would you like to say to all the, all the basketball players out there? I love you, and you're doing a good job. Okay, thank you, Avery. And for other sports, in the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens run the Super Bowl. That's it for sports. See you next week. Spongebob's great parents character is Brown. Uh, Patrick. Okay. What is your favorite Spongebob's great parents character? Uh, Spongebob. Okay. What is your favorite Spongebob's great parents character? Um, probably Spongebob, I guess. Okay. What is your favorite Spongebob's great parents characters? Connor? Uh, Spongebob. Okay. What is your favorite Spongebob's great parents character? Okay. What is your favorite SpongeBob's great friends characters, Nathan? Squidward. Okay. What is your favorite SpongeBob characters? SpongeBob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs are my favorite. And? Patrick, definitely. And? Uh, Patrick. Okay. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, so do you watch the newscast? Yes. It is the highlight of my week. I love the newscast. Uh, what kind of things do you like about it and why? I like the news, I like the announcements. I like the things Corey does. I like questions of the week. It is just a okay. Okay. Do you watch the newscast? Yes, I do. What do you like about the newscast? I enjoy the random questions, and um, I like it all. Just like, how do you feel about the newscast? I'm here with Chase. Chase, how do you feel about the newscast? Um, pretty good. He likes it. I'm here with Anna and <laughs> Michaela. And here's the question, guys. Do you watch the newscast? Yes. Yes. What, what things do you like about the newscast? Um, the question of the week is pretty funny. Or the sports. Sports? Okay. Question of the week. Question of the week. If you could change something about the newscast, what would you like to change about it? Um, I mean, a little bit funnier instead of more serious. The creativity, I don't know, something different, switch it up. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, I'm here with... I'm not doing it, Noah. Okay, and... No. Okay, so we're... Was that a good example? Do you guys watch the newscast? I actually don't, like even when, yeah, no. Why don't you watch the newscast? Because I never go on YouTube. So you're a loser? Yes, that is. And do you also watch the newscast? Sometimes. Okay, what do you like about the newscast? The old ones. The old ones. She doesn't like us. And about you, do you watch the newscast? I like you. Yeah. I like that post on Facebook. Oh. Before you were on it, I just started. Um, I guess so. I'm here with Brett, and as you can see, he's a loner. Um, do you watch the newscast? The what? The newscast. Do you watch it? Yeah, whenever a teacher puts it on. Uh, what things do you like about the newscast, and why don't you watch it more often? I think all you guys are funny, but if I had the chance, I'd watch it more often. Oh, okay. That's pretty much it. Okay, I'm here. I'm here with RJ. And uh, RJ, do you watch the newscast? <laughs> of course, I watch the newscast. I'm in it. Oh uh, no. Okay, what things do you like about the newscast besides yourself? <laughs> me and mostly you and me. Yeah. So pretty much everything that's cool on the newscast. Okay. No Willie. No Willie. And I'm here with uh, Max. Yo. Maxwell, so do you watch the newscast? Uh, yeah. Derp. Derp. Okay, so what kind of things do you like in the newscast? Um, I usually like the announcements when uh, Sir RJ and uh, Austin are doing it. Okay, and if you could change something about the newscast, what would you like to change about it? Um, more random dancing times. Let's have a random dancing time right now. Okay, moving on. Hi. We're Team Awesome, and we're going to be doing uh, challenges and whatnot. So if you have any challenge ideas, just uh, let us know what they are and we'll think about doing them. So. Here we go. First one we're doing is called the Saltine Cracker Challenge. And you have to be able to eat, I believe it's six or seven saltine crackers in under a minute yep. or something. Doesn't seem so hard. doesn't seem that hard, but we're gonna give her a try, see how it goes and give her a stopwatch. Yeah. She's got a stopwatch on her phone, so here we go. You're up first. Alright, here we go. We got 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes. And that's my time started. Got to eat in under a minute. You. So I hope you're ready to see me eat these crackers because I'm gonna be chewing fast. Okay, it started. All right, here we go. You're good, you have a lot of time. Sorry, I failed you. Oh, no more from my mouth whatsoever. <laughs> All right, she's only doing four. Uh -huh. I did six, so she's doing four. Are you hard enough? Yeah, just okay. just do it. Just all of them right now. Just munch them. Okay. Right. Munch them. Uh huh. Do it. Come on, fit them. Put them in. <laughs> then you lost already. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you failed. Sarah's a failure. Admit, admit that you're a failure. I am a failure, but I was breathing them in and it was weird. Admit your failure. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs>